All right, this is for code.org, CS Discoveries Unit 2, Web Development, Lesson 11, which is going to be styling elements with CSS. Here's some new code we're going to learn. We're going to learn how to change the borders um, around pictures and such. Also to change the float value, change the height, the margin, the width. So let's get started. Here are some example websites that were created with some of the new uh, code that we're going to learn. And for this one, uh, we're just going to kind of have a look at here and then go over to the style sheet and kind of see what code we've got here. So we've got background color, light blue for the body. We've got font family for H1, sans serif. We've got for H2, the same thing. And then we've got images floating to the left. So it looks like they're staying on the left here. We've got width 250 pixels, so each image is 250 pixels wide. The margin around the images is 10 pixels. We see a little margin here. Uh, we've got the border color for the images is saddle brown. We've got the width 4 pixels. It's a solid border, and the radius on this turn here is 10 pixels. All right, for paragraphs, uh, text alignment is to the left. This is fantasy, font family, and the font size is 14 pixels. So let's go ahead and get working on some of these. So we want to look at the text that shows the, or sorry, the code that makes the background light blue, which is here. Let's make it a different color. Dark salmon, why not? And then we're going to change the background color of just the paragraphs. So let's go to paragraphs and we'll say, Let's get tabbed over here. Background, color, and we'll make it uh, antique white. So we've got a little bit different color there. All right, next exercise. We'll go ahead and find the body rules, the body rule set in the style sheet, which is right here. And if we change the text align or color, uh, what do we think would happen? So uh, we've got the background color, which is one thing, but if we change just the color, that should change the color of the text. So let's change the color of the text. Ooh, that doesn't look very nice. A little too bright. Okay, so what else? Um, text align. So let's see if we change the text align to the right. forgot to put my semicolon in there. Don't forget your semicolon at the end of your rules. Okay, so it looks like this text is over to the right now. So if we take this off, what happens? And it goes back to where it was. All right, we're going to go ahead and move to the next one. We want to look at the float property on our image rule set and try to find out what it does. So we've got image float left. So we've got the images on the left text on the right. This one, the text is on the bottom. So let's try float right. And now the image is on the right, text on the left. So we're going to move to the next one. Uh, find the property in the style sheet that controls the width of the images. Change the width to be larger or smaller. So I clicked on style CSS, found image. We got width here. Let's make them maybe 350 pixels. So now it's filling more of the screen. Okay, we need a height property as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Height. And let's make this 200 px. Okay, so now depending on the how your image looks, it may squish it or not. So And then they want us to change the width of the paragraphs as well. So we've got our paragraphs here. And let's say width, oh, let's do 400 px as well. So 400 pixels for the paragraph width. So there we go. All right, let's go ahead and move to the next exercise. So they want us to debug some images, find out they're supposed to be 100 pixels high, but the height property is not working. Let's find out why. Well, let's first of all go to style CSS and look at image, height, 100, how about px? 
There we go. Make sure you put the PX for pixels. And that fixes it. We'll move to the next one. And we've got to debug the style, find out why the image styles are not working. All right, so let's just go to our style at CSS. Background color light blue, color deep pink, horizontal rule width. Okay. So let's let's go over to the index HTML and see if we've got our link relation equal style sheet. Okay, it's not supposed to be source. It's supposed to be href equals style.css. So let's refresh and save. There we go. So that was the only problem in the index HTML file. The link was messed up. So if you want to change the style to something else on this, you can just go to the style sheet and change it. Maybe we want the background color. I don't know. Uh, seashell. There we go. Let's pick the first one that comes up. And that's a little bit brighter of a website, a little bit lighter colored. So let's go ahead and move to the next one, debug the heading. And there's something not quite right. What is the problem? Well, let's see what the problem is. Let's go to style.css, h6. Text line right. Let's see if there's any other headings that we're looking at. Let's see here. Not really sure what they're looking for, so I'm just trying to see if I see any major issues here. I'm going to go to index HTML, see if I th see anything weird. Okay, that looks good. H6, oh, H6. No, that's a big, no, oh, okay. That works, H6. H3, paragraph, H3, paragraph. Not sure what's going on there. Okay, I found it. Um, <laughs> it looks like the H1 and the H3s are inside of the head tag. We don't want them there. We want them in the, between the two body tags. So all your content should be between your body tags. So that was the issue there. Uh, let's go ahead and hit finish, and we are good to go. Next one here, we've got add new rules. Okay, you can add or change the rules. So let's just go to style CSS and put some new rules in. And you can really just do whatever rules you want. That's they just want you to add some new rules. And let's do this one. And you can add whatever other rules you want to it here. I'm not going to change anything though. And let's go to fix the image width. So images are different sizes. Some are too big, so let's just make a rule for all of them. If we go to style at CSS and image, let's just say width and 400 px. So now they're all they should all be the same width. Yeah, they're all looking good. Just a couple more here, and we'll be through. We've got this one, fix the image position using the float property so that they are the side of the text rather than below it. So let's go to style at CSS. Let's go to image. Do we have an image? Okay. So let's go float left. And now they are to the left of the text. All right, let's move to exercise number nine. So we can get, we'll click finish here. We went through all those. So in this one, um, they want us to give the web page a background color, make all the images go to the right, and make all the text a different color. So we can do this by going to style.css. We're going to say 
body. Make some rules for the body, background color. Give that a color, and then we're going to say um, color, and this is going to be the text. And let's give it, I'm just going to pick whatever's first there, <laughs> just to make this quick. And then we want to make the images go to the right of the page. So we're going to say IMG, write some rules for the image, float right. And now let's have a look. Okay, so now they're on the right. Okay, you can add all sorts of other things too. You could add border colors, border with border styles, all sorts of things for your images if you would like to. But I'm not going to do that here. All right, last one. We've got um, quite a few different challenges, and we'll finish those in another video.